Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here today with CEO Jorge Romero Monroy of Reina Silver, a recommendation in The Mining Speculator. And we're here at the 2020 September Metals Investor Forum. Jorge, welcome to the forum. Thank you, Greg. Great to see you again and great to be with everybody today virtually. Virtually, yes, of course. And uh, you and I have done these interviews before and you're in Hong Kong. So I yes. guess it's around 1130 your time. So i uh, grateful you could be with us. Thank you. No, it's, uh, it's, I wish I was uh, in person. I always look forward to the Metal Investor Forum, but I guess for the timing with travel being a little bit difficult, we'll have to do it this way. Yeah, yeah, no, the technology is great. So this is great for investors to key in and, and listen to what's going on. So since yes. you and I last talked in June, a lot's going on for the company. You raised a lot of money. We're yes. getting ready to do some aggressive drilling on our key projects. Um, why don't you kick it off and give us an update? Yeah, no, thank you, Greg. Since I spoke to you in, uh, I think, two, three months ago when we had just uh, gone public, right. there's uh, three things that are key to us that, that have happened. Uh, number one is we bought an additional property called La Chinche, which it really is an appendix to the Gigi property, which is our flagship asset. And it was important to us for a number of reasons. Number one, because it is uh, a continuation from the Potosi mine, which is a producing mine that is to the, to the west of, of our property. And also is strategic because the property in the geophysics showed a, a number of interesting anomalies that led from the Gigi property into La Chincha property. It, this property had been something that Max Silver, when they gave us the properties, they highly recommended that we make a, an extra effort to acquire the property to complete the land package. And we were able to do this in around middle of July. Then uh, on the and back is, of the- This is a yes. continuation of the carbonate replacement system that- That's right. Is, yeah. That's correct, Greg. It's, it's a continuation of the, of the carbonate re replacement system. And it's, uh, it's an area that it's a potential source for more of these uh, high grade chimneys. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's some small uh, former producers uh, as part of the La Chincha property. And, and it could also be a, a, some of the anomalies that are, are there are part of the, the anomalies that we're gonna test with drilling during this uh, drill campaign. And that's so, gonna start when, in September, end you know, of September early October? That's correct. So we, we've uh, uh, already deep into our uh, uh, permitting for the for the asset for the for the drill campaign, and you know in normal times, the turnaround in Mexico is quite quite quick. It, it's, it could be as short as a month, and with COVID, it's a little bit of a question mark in terms of the speed. However, there are companies in the state of Chihuahua, which is where we are, that have received their permits within, um, you know, like around six weeks time. We, um, we think that in our case, um, we're looking at uh, beginning to middle of October uh, for us to, to start drilling. Uh, a little bit delayed, a few weeks delay, but, uh, you know, right. given the situations, it's not, not a significant th thing, thank God. No, it's exciting. Obviously the stock has performed well since you and I last talked. Yes. Had a lot of happy subscribers that got in at the 40 cent, 50 cent range. So great. Uh, everything's really, really fun and good on that side. I just want to make a point in this interview that people need to realize that Mag Silver owns almost 20% of the company. The management right. and the board own another, what, 21, 22%. Um, so between that those groups of people you know over 40 percent of the company is uh owned. yeah so so great maybe i can clarify that that's been reduced a little bit oh, okay. uh, because we uh, and and i was trying to to uh you know when i mentioned to you there were three things that were important the second thing that was important was we did do another financing uh about two two weeks ago it was closed um actually more more like three weeks now and um you know, it was something. It was a situation where uh, an investment bank out of Toronto, Aid Capital, uh, told us, that, "Would you be interested in taking uh, more money?" And given that our share price had, uh, you know, been significantly up from our twenty cent IPO to to um, to the mid sixties, we thought it would be a, a good idea, also in light of of the Lachinche acquisition. So we raised uh, 
7 million Canadian dollars, which were closed on August 18th. Now, the Max Silver still owns 16% of the company and, and management about the same. And, you know, what was very unique about this, about this investors that came in in the last round, Greg, was uh, uh, the vast majority were large institutions in North America and, and uh, Australia and Europe. So what has been quite significant for us is that our in institutional investor profile has increased significantly. I have to tell you, Greg, it's, uh, you know, I, for me, I, it was uh, very surprising to see the level of interest from these institutions. I think a few months ago, uh, you, you it would be almost unthinkable to, to think of them coming into a silver exploration story. But I think it speaks to two things. Uh, number one, uh, Peter McGaugh's reputation, uh, you know, for discoveries. Absolutely. And, and I think number two, it speaks about the tremendous interest that the market has for silver exploration equities, which, as you know, are, are relatively rare. Yeah, they're hard to find, and you're one of the best, and I'm glad to be behind you right from the beginning. So that's that's wonderful. So we must have a lot of money in the Treasury now because I, I thought we already yeah. had quite a bit to begin with. So we, we had, um, yeah, we went public with about 6.5 million Canadian and we uh, currently have about 11.5. Wow, that's great. The treasury's robust. Yes. We're no problems on that front. So. No, I don't. Uh, forget about problems. Like we yeah. really have, uh, you know, if anybody have told me, we, we've only been a public company for three months. Yeah. So if anybody, anybody had told me we were going to have that kind of budget to explore um, the Geeky project, uh, I, you know, I would would find it hard, hard to believe. Now that that brings me to the third uh, point that I wanted to to comment that's significant since we went public, which is, uh, you know, originally we have a very modest budget for exploring our second asset called Batopilas, and you know, with the increase in in our budget, we've uh, assembled a dedicated team for Batopilas, and we will be looking. Uh, the, we started uh, the exploration. Uh, of that asset uh, about two weeks ago with wow. an idea to develop drill targets in the next couple of months, uh, permit and drill either towards the end of the year or early next year. And just to remind you, the Batopilas mine is formerly Mexico's highest grade uh, silver mine. In fact, it's, uh, as far as I know, the highest grade sil silver mine that was ever in production in Mexico produced 300 million ounces of silver at 1.5 kilos per ton on, on average. And it's a district scale uh, play in the mid nineties when Americans were allowed to, American and Canadians after NAFTA got signed, were able to come back to Mexico and explore. Peter McGall and a, a few of his business partners consolidated the old mine, which is a two kilometer tunnel. But in addition to that, also put together for the first time in history, the whole district which is made of about 30 known veins. Um, about half of those are in the old mine and the rest are in, in the district in a space of about a thousand or so hectares. And a lot of these uh, veins have historic production of, uh, you know, kilo of silver upwards and, and have never been drilled. So this is also a very exciting project and, you know, one that we're very much looking forward to start exploring. Well, yeah, no, I'm super excited for you guys. And I get so many people asking me to make more silver recommendations, but I said, it's hard to find a yes. ring of silver. It's, you know, this one has everything that I look for and, uh, you know, let the drilling begin. You, you have not yes. only three now, we, we started with three projects. Now you have the fourth. And it, to me, that's a great feather in your cap to add even further value. So let's, let's, we got the money, let's drill, let's see what we get.